configuration of the digital controls using the My Home Up app. First, open the My Home Up app. Before commencing, ensure the smartphone you are using for the configuration is on the same Wi-Fi network as the My Home Server 1. In this tutorial, let's use an example of adding one light in the kitchen with its related digital control. In the app, select Add One On-Off Light. If using a flush mounted actuator, first remove the bus frame and select the actuator by pressing the relevant front button. Since the digital controls on the frame are fed by the contacts of the connection module front side, both the bus frame and the digital controls must be clipped in place before powering up the assembly. As the actuators and digital controls are separate devices, we must ensure the My Home Server 1 sees them during the scan phase. Back to our configuration. Next step is to select the load we wish to assign to the kitchen light. Select load 1 on the app. The actuator gives visual feedback with a fast flashing on off of the two white LEDs. On the app, we see channels 1 and 2 for the actuator depicted. Note the two front push buttons on the actuator itself. At the back of the actuator, you'll find the related L1 and L2 load outputs clearly marked. Let's finish the configuration. Clip the digital control in place to finally associate it to the actuator controlling the kitchen light. In the app, press adding a new device. Next step is to press the digital control you want to associate so that the app recognizes it. With this dedicated light control, you can control up to two groups of lights, whereas with the full control, you may control up to three groups of lights. In this example, we want to operate just one light, so the app will allocate the central button of the digital control. The setup is now complete. We can save and verify that it works. When the light is turned on, the LED on the digital control turns blue. When we turn the light off, the LED turns white. 